Yeah, uh, the employee ownership with us is not just the fact that every employee has ownership in the company. It's also about a culture, mm -hmm. a culture of shared success, a culture of uh, uh, giving people an opportunity to, to share in the decision making process mm -hmm. and treating them not as employees but as owners. Mm -hmm. And uh, that requires you to actually engage with them in, in the decision that you wish to make mm -hmm. and not just explaining but getting their participation mm -hmm. in that process. So, you know, I compare uh, running a business to running on a treadmill. Mm. And, you know, it's uh, to stay in the same place, you have to run harder and harder. <laughs> and uh, so if, let's say, growing, my goal was to grow the business 20%, mm -hmm. it was not as hard to grow the company 20% when we were $2 million or $4 million. Growing a company by 20%, you know, when you are $50 million is a whole lot harder than growing it by 20% when you are much more modest size. Yes. And same is, is the issues of uh, recruiting and retention. Mm -hmm. You know, the challenges of finding qualified workforce, you know, to grow your business. When you are 10 people, you add one or two people and you've done a pretty good job of finding, you know, growing your talent pool. Right. But when you are 700 people, then uh, growing uh, proportionately by 10% requires hiring 70 good people. Mm -hmm. And so I feel that as the business grows, mm -hmm. the challenges actually don't get easier. Uh, mm -hmm. The business, the challenges get harder. Mm -hmm. You are having to retain more people. You are having to recruit more people. Mm -hmm. I actually have an analogy that you might find interesting. I call it like journey of entrepreneurship is cutting a path through a deep, dark forest. And uh, the, the deeper you go, the bigger and the taller the trees. And if you fail to cut those trees, you know, you die. But if you succeed, the, the reward is to have a chance to cut bigger and taller trees. It's important to hire, uh, you know, top-notch talent with a lot of seasoning and experience. Mm -hmm. And the sooner you do that, the better off you are. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of senior executives in the company that I actually think of them as my mentors. And so I'm constantly seeking, you know, their guidance and advice. And in many cases, they are making the decisions mm -hmm. for the company. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel that delegating has been a, a difficult challenge for me. There are a couple of areas in which I have struggled to delegate and I still don't. Mm -hmm. And recruiting is one of them. Mm. And so we find that, uh, you know, if you create the right culture and you treat your employees with a degree of respect, mm -hmm. you, even, you can overcome the challenges associated with a diversified global workforce. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes a lot of courage to start a business mm -hmm. and to stay in business mm -hmm. and to stay true to who you are. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. my number one advice would be be courageous. Mm -hmm. Uh, my second advice would be understand clearly why you're going into business. What are your values and what is your purpose? Mm -hmm. If you have a clear understanding of your values and purpose, chances are that irrespective of the magnitude of your success, mm -hmm. you will have joy in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the third advice I would say is uh, while uh, growing a business is important, ensure that you also keep an eye on the costs and you manage your costs mm -hmm. and ensure that you are profitable, that you're not stretching your legs any further than your quilt can cover. Mm -hmm. And that continues to be something that I'm very passionate about is, is to create joy for our employees, to give life to their dreams. My dream is to give life to the dreams of people who call Tioko their home. And good ideas don't have to come from me, they can come from them. Mm -hmm. My goal is to give life to dreams of people. Great. And I do that in business and in my personal life.